Well, Dick, they passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos and the Radford Highlanders. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Highlanders could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Secondly, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Inside, number 40 handles the pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of bounds. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Fed the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. He'll regroup the offense. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket. Taking advantage of a slow post play. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. They still don't score. On the outside. Trying to pack it inside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Now the high screen. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes a jumper for two. Radford are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. The center receives the pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. The center handles the feed. And a momentary look from three-point land. And he'll kick it back outside. He blocks the shot. Hey, we've seen some great block shots. Teammates love it. On the floor. Up and inside. The shooting guard receives the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. They've left him completely alone. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. There's a bad 
pass right to the defender. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. They move it into the front court. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Got the high pick. He takes the shot. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. From three-point territory. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Worth the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And his shot rejected. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Gets up to make the block. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Working it around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. On the outside. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Entry pass in the paint. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Number 31 goes to the charity stripe for two. First one is no good. He can't get one to fall. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The Highlanders have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Up and in. Looking for a good shot. Has a nice look at the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. <laughs> Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're working around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. Easy one. Number 11 is animated and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Up fake. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He launches the bomb. He hits it. That's 
spacing. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Number 14 with the fake for the bucket. I love this guy hooked, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Tries to get the D to bite. On the inside. Goes up for two. Sinks the shot. Working around the arc. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He lets it go way off target. On the outside. He shoots from long range. He takes another bad shot. That shot's killed chemistry, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Good fake. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Two, Bradford have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> See if they can get a good shot this trip. Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. Well, the arc looked good. He cleans the glass. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here's a double team. it up sinks it let's go to the video tag for that one <laughs> on the dribble gives it up Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Fakes the shot. A high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. All right, thanks, Aaron. pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there brad he steps up to the line he makes it Free throws go. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper with a bucket and off the mark. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in a boost. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Basic. In the paint, jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Moving it around the perimeter. From right at the circle, you betcha. Basketball got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block. Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to draw some contact. Number 14 with a finger roll. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass he looks for three he hits the shot And this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Entry pass in the paint. He's money with the shot. Post screen for two. Can't get the shot to go. He shoots from the baseline. 
Off the rim and no good. Takes away the pass. He up fakes. They're working around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see the wrong man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. There's the pick. Ten on the shot clock. You see Santa Barbara are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Inside. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Tries for two. Makes the shot. Up and inside. There's the fake. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Gave it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. There's the pick, there's the roll. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He dials long distance. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, there's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Stop and pop. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. From half court, he misses the trifecta. At halftime, the Highlanders are trailing by six. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Bradford turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just aren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced and playing silly, if you ask me. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Now they're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Leans in. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important.
This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes on a high level. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there on the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point lane. Yeah, Brad. No one seems to have found the touch. Pump fakes. He makes a nice shot fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Good rebound. Great position on a rebound. Good block out. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He hits the shot. It's Dunk City, baby. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. High post screen. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Takes the pass in the paint. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get on the floor. Great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. The power forward takes the pass. Goes up for two. Drains the shot. Too many dribbles and a steal for the bucket. He's money with a shot. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Wow, let's check out the replay. There's a high screen. Doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. Jump hook from the low post. Bradford are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Gave it up. Goes up for two. He can't get the bucket to fall. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Gives it up. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. needed breather with that time up. The center with the ball. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The center takes the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. High post screen. So effective that screen. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the angle. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The center gets the pass. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I tell you one thing, that big guy got it. With great anticipation for the rejection. Bring it hard or don't bring it at all. The center gets the ball. For two. And he missed. Gave it up. Up fake. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Defense giving some room. High post player flashing. He gives him the fake. Puts up the shot. They let him get into a rhythm. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's the trap. The shot from the baseline. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. And the ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Tries for two. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Double team now, bad angle. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Kicks it out. He attempts the three. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny that Kenny does a great job of post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. He launches the bomb. They are struggling from trifecta lane so far. Yeah, they're having serious trouble hitting the shot tonight, Brad. That's surprising for this team. Jumped in front to take it away. Oh. 
Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. it up. He shoots from long range. Rims out. Gave it up. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses the bomb. On the outside. Tries for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. up for two. He makes the shot. Here it is. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. the dribble gives it up he attempts the three buried it here's a block from behind my man was on a mission look at that spacing he intercepts it Dick you gotta love tournament games like this great first half second half's been more of the same and I don't know. What do you think? Uh, the favorite? Can he pull it out or not? Well, I really believe that, too. I agree with you, Brad. I think the last few possessions are going to dictate who moves on, survives, advances, and who goes home. On the outside. Gave it up. That spin move is not going to work against the defense I'll like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. In and out. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Shoots. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. shoulders down there and I think the defense is winning Dick. I tell you doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught and this kid has responded in a positive way. He's got some room. 
Tries for two. Drains it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. For the deuce, easy one. He's open if he wants the shot. Gets it to fall. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Goes up for two, and in and out. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. UC Santa Barbara are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put them off things. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll visit the charity strike. No doubt. Second shot is no good. For two, the land. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Show the replay on that. Spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And a big rebound. Then they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Hits the second. shot they work the perimeter Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing the ball and man that spin move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn you see Santa Barbara have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad
intercepted. Working it around the perimeter. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. And he'll kick it back outside. Got a guy right on him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Steals the pass. Up and inside. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. He unloads. Rims out. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. On the dribble, gives it up. They're working around the perimeter. For the bucket. And he missed. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I look for something different here coming out this time out, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. The fake. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from outside. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Gave it up. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy can have inside, though. He's so big that I really it's tough to deny him the ball. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He strokes it. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. And yet another foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. He makes the front end of the one and one. Sinks it. The support possession if they want a chance to win. Back to the live action we go. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. He launches a three. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Cross court. 
All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Gauchos graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.